20. Santa Cruz to hometown station KHTS 98.1 FM and AM 1220. I am Kyle Jellings. This is the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest Santa Clarita has to offer. And speaking of the greatest Santa Clarita has to offer, we have a very special guest in studio. Carton Ellis is here from Unipest. It's sing out day, so I'm trying to sing out Carton Ellis. Do I have to participate as well? Uh, you do not. You do not. Because but- I could do like a killing bugs. <laughs> Some kind of jingle. Dude, I like it. Killing bugs. Killing bugs. It's all about killing bugs. We yeah. need to uh, rhyme. With jazz hands. Uh, jazz hands. Absolutely. We're streaming uh, on Facebook, and this is on video. So if you want to do jazz hands, they will not be lost. Maybe on the listener right now in the car, but not those tuning in on the computer. Right. Uh, so Unip- we need to a rhyme with Unipest. That's what we need. By the end of this interview, a rhyme with Unipest, sing out day. Well, there's best, there's rest. There's vest. How about this? Why don't you rest and call the best? It's all about Unipest. That's not bad. That's Look, actually pretty good. I'm no Lynn Manuel Miranda. However, I do my best. We need to talk about summer vacations coming up. It's right around the corner. We're in March already. Uh-huh. We've got spring break coming up and then summer vacations, traveling. This bed bug thing is, it has. And, and I don't mean to be, like, mm-hmm. corny about it, but it has new legs in the last few years. Oh, yes, yes. So it kind of just the thought about that kind of freaks me out. So what do we need to do when we're traveling to avoid the whole bed bug thing? Or can we even avoid it? Maybe we can't. Uh, well, the, gosh, that's a good question. Um, it definitely does have new legs, it's interesting you mentioned that. Gosh, if I knew you were going to put it that way, I would have brought an old Smithsonian article. Back in, it was like the 40s or the 50s, mm-hmm. there was actually an entomologist at the Smithsonian who'd sent out a letter requesting live samples from the different entomology departments of live bed bugs. Mm-hmm. And he was afraid that um, DDT had actually become so effective in the manufacturing processes of uh, clothing and mattresses and so on and so forth, that we had eliminated um, the North American bed bug. And he was actually concerned, like there were so few bed bugs that he wasn't able to find samples. He actually had to actively, proactively go go searching for them. Fast forward to 2019. But wait a minute, wait, why would that be a bad thing? Oh, no, no, not, well, just a bad thing in the sense of, you know, he wanted to do studies on them and he wanted to so on and so forth, you know what I'm saying? Got it. But um, as we've outlawed virtually everything having to do with the word pesticide, even if it's literally just salt water, Mm -hmm. we've created a little bit of our own problem in the sense that now bed bugs, bed bugs haven't uh, necessarily had a resurgence or some kind of like mutated growth where they're more powerful. It's just that uh, we don't fight against them so much. So they spread like the human parasites that they really are, you know? Right. So, oh my gosh, everything from movie theaters to libraries. I've been libraries where they've been caught in well, the spines that's, and books. that's the whole thing. Like, it's not just a bed bug anymore. I mean, that's the name of it, but it's not exclusive to beds anymore. Uh, it's, uh, I, I read where one of the, um, I want to say Abercrombie or one of these department stores was in the close, uh, and they had to close down and, and, uh, well, they can you know. transport any different way. Cause they are latchers. I mean, they're, they're very effective at latching onto something and then transporting, but they do really need to be around humans, at least in the sense of feeding because, and I don't want to get in the rabbit trail here too much, but here's some really cool stats that make you less fearful of bed bugs. 90% of the time. Any bed bugs found anywhere are going to be on the box spring or the mattress. And of that other 10%, 90% of the bed bugs within that 10% in a room are going to be found within six to eight feet of the head of the person sleeping in the bed. Because here's what happens is biologically, they sense the carbon dioxide plumes in your breath. That heat and that moisture and that carbon dioxide actually sets off their uh, feeding mechanism and lets them know that, oh, now it's time to go find a feed. Mm -hmm. So it's not until you've been hanging out for like half an hour and there's a lot of carbon dioxide building up around your head that um, you're going to alert, per se, the bed bugs to come out and feed on you. 
That's what we need to know. So we're traveling. Yeah. We have, and and this is not exclusive to just, you know, motels and uh, ratty old places. Anywhere where a human is every single day, like commuter cars can get them really badly. Right. And and the best of hotels. I mean, five-star hotels are now getting... It's not about. Are now they have for ten years. They're just better at hiding us in these nondescript looking uniforms is it, and is trailers. It, is it? Oh yeah, I have. Dude, our bed bug trailer mm-hmm. has no markings on it, and sometimes we'll even just like you know, people ask us, "What are you doing?" Oh, we're carpet cleaning. You know what I'm saying? Like half those carpet cleaners you see in hotels are bed bug teams. All right. So, really, that's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Okay, good to know. But at least they're being taken care of. But. So we have peace of mind because, believe it or not, our time is almost up. Oh, man. So we uh, – well, <laughs> well, we sang through half of it. So uh, how do we inspect ourselves? How do we do this? So we have peace of mind when we lay down our head. We were having a great vacation. And we want to lay down our head and get some rest. How do we know we're not going to be get, uh, bitten during can, the night? You can do it in two seconds. At least if you are traveling, uh, doing your own little bed bug inspection is actually quite easy. In fact, you've just inspired me. I'm going to make a video about it. Mm-hmm. Um, all you really have to do is inspect the seams within six to eight feet of the head of where a bed is. The seams. The seams. Yeah, because okay. that's always where they gravitate first, especially on a mattress. What I've noticed in hotels, in bedrooms, um, or in hostels or dormitories – um, mattresses, they always have this tag that has to be sewn on that says what the material is made out of and so on and so forth. That's almost 90% of the time where the bed bugs show up first is on that tag. So if you can just lift up the sheets and around the back where the head is, mm-hmm. if you can, um, just inspect that area, especially in the seams and look for a little spotting that looks kind of like pepper. Mm-hmm. Um, that's actually their fecal material. It's kind of crazy, but they, uh, when they suck on your blood and their stomach acid burns it out, Mm -hmm. it comes out looking the color of steak. Because if you think about it, when you cook a steak, Mm -hmm. all of that red blood turns brown, right? Never having steak again. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Well, um, if you see little pepper spots and little Mm -hmm. like splatter marks that kind of look like uh, steak, then you know um, that there's bed bugs there, and then you can alert the uh, the proper authorities. The management. How management. about if we How about if we want to uh, uh, alert you to maybe a problem we have in our home? How do we get a hold of you? Oh, that's super simple. It is six six one bug seven five seven five. So that's six six one two eight four seven five seven five, and we'll just come out and inspect it, and you know Car- take. Carden's there for you. He's yeah. there. You've tried the rest. Now try the best. Unipest. That's all I got, man. In it's our vest. In our. <laughs> 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 <laughs>